Hey there, trades again. I had a couple people wonder how we stay warm up here in the mountains. Well, here's how we do it. This is a smudge pot. When I was a kid down in Southern California, my my dad was an orange grove farmer, and this is what we used to keep the groves warm, keep them from freezing early in the morning. But the way this smudge pot works is down here in the bottom, there's a tub that holds seven or eight gallons of fuel, usually diesel fuel. And you light it with a burning wick and you walk through the grove and light them up and then when the sun come up you shut them all down and keep the trees from freezing. But it makes a great heater, pretty inexpensive too, because you can, you can run this thing for, depending on how you throttle it up or down, two or three hours, maybe more on a gallon of diesel fuel. <clears throat> I even blend my old used motor oil in with it, stretch it out a little bit farther. But uh, you light, there's a wick down here in the bottom. You light that wick up and it gets the pool of fuel burning and evaporates off the fu the fumes, come up the stack and burn. Air comes up through these slots and then after a few minutes this thing gets glowing red hot. I mean it'll keep you warm, it'll drive you away. Usually we have to turn it way down. Plus when you're sitting around it, the stack's up high so the smoke goes straight up and there's really very little smoke with this cast iron reburner. So let me show you how it works here. Light the wick up. That'll get the fuel burning. And then the flame will start up the stack here. As soon as it gas off enough of the fumes. And then pretty soon you got a roaring fire. And then in a few minutes this thing will get glowing red hot. And I mean it puts out a lot of heat. So that's how we stay warm up here in the mountains. We use the smudge pot works great. So I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to shut the camera down. I'll come back in a little bit when it's really dark and colder. And you can see just how hot this thing gets. 